let me just pin my comment here. So we're talking about the lab today. For an arguing that needs to do to lab. So this is the first of Facebook. And I'm still trying to like learn this one. Um, I'm doing one or two at on learning these technicalities now. <laughs> this? Oh. oh, that's nice. So this is a flash. That is very nice. So there's different stickers that you can use. Low, I don't know. So it looks like it's an effect. Facebook. Hi, thanks so much for joining in. I'm literally at this point trying to get the stickers off my screen, but they don't seem to want to go away. <laughs> so we're basically going to talk about medical technology. and then hey carol thank you so so much for joining and i'm hoping that you're gonna you know help me more more like what is it that i'm forgetting about uh, the lab that i'm not mentioning and um, so basically medical technologist to be medical technologist the studies have from metric with a science limit and life science Life sciences and Uganda was that is a good technical in English and we So basically any university of technology thank you so so much for joining in um we're talking about the lab and how to get into the lab what we do so we do so many other tests um we also do we do genetic testing hey zuki thank you so so much no no kelo how join me te ruwa ka ko lepe so na ke bara ka ko lepe re tsheka madi re tsheka meroto re tsheka makaka ba thong re tshwara le makaka o kre re huduha yana ka mo ka mo ka mo le botlolong o huduha o re o test gore na ke bacteria e fe ba ni wemse ra tsheka gore on a little worms to the thing, the adults are going to worms a little bit more now. So, that's why I said, I'm going to live off the Vemox daily or the Bola daily worms daily. So, the tester of the answer is to check out. 
ntle re kgogo go di cheka ko lepe gore na bothata ba ga go keng ba tsa madi ana ko ngwe ba tsa le le moroto um i'm going to mix it up so ka ile go re walwala go kra di test ga o go 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 lepe sentse o ye ko doctoring doctor a go tse tampulo e long gore moe long gore feletsa o lutsa madi a mantin tin 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 ba tla o khona go check about tse madi doctor check thank you so much for the love doctor a go check and tell you exactly what is wrong with you the doctor unfortunately cannot tell gore botsa ba ga go keng go shebile fela yana he cannot tell by just looking at you he actually needs to take a blood sample and go in and check so he sends the stuff to the lab tse di tlang go gore ona ko lab ra mo chekela gore ra cheka di microscope ra cheka ka di chemical tsa rona le mechina rona gore na what is it that you have mo mading a gago ge le gore ona le anemia ya boileng gore ke madi a tlase re khona go bolela tha ga go gore ona le madi a go tlase a khotsitse ke eng 1234 all right so then re mose tsa bag di results tsa gage and then a tla go a bolela gore a botsa ba go ke So basically that's the whole journey that we take you you go to your doctor kana ko engwe you can go directly to the lab so different labs have different um criteria so some labs do allow walk-ins where you can walk in and do it yourself and can check what is actually going on at that time Ah, oh, thank you so so much. So you can check at that time what is going on with you. So we always advise for we check or we go doctor and for a kind of tell us the results. So the recording. So doctor, let me know report. Rena lo kuba tell us the tarpa ngwa le report o re type auto korna. What is wrong? What do the results mean? The results di kaba di aban normal or the results di kaba ko tlase or kwa go di mutata. So they can be normal or low or too high. So depending on what they can either be too low or too high. All right. So we can actually determine from the lab what it is that is wrong with you. Hey, thank you so so much for joining in. So in the lab what we do is we work together with the nurses and the doctors. Nurses and doctors will check you physically ba bona go rotsa ba ga go keng. They will then send you a sample to the lab and in the lab there's so many options that you can do. Rena le di different departments so I'm qualified in clinical pathology. So sira gore I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none. So ke tsa chemical um pathology, ke tsa hematology, ke tsa micro a little bit of molecular and serology so chemistry ke ona ntse ke bua ka yona ke gore ba go tsa madi ba ba go checka di pio ba go checka pelo ba checka di heart attack ba checka gore ana o tshwere ke cancer ke cancer e feng re khona go itse sentle sentle gore na which cancer do you actually have right and then ba ba go hematology ke the study of blood ba khona checka madi a ga go sentle sentle ka motlatsa ga microscope le di test tsa bona ke mo mechining e o gore na botsa tsa ba ga go ke the other one e nwe re etsang ke blood group So are re li le kae kae di pating mo nothing what the app no lockdown here fela mo tebo go di out going out and all of that people at that time tend up going in but getting into accident kana go mo accident eng o lusite madi a mantsin tsin tsin now you need to get a blood transfusion sense ba go tshele madi ha o be itse gore sense ba go tshele madi a mafeng thank you so much for the love ha be sense ba go tshele madi a mafeng because at that time now we need to find out her are you an a positive are you a b negative are you an o positive or are you an o negative are you an ab positive so gona need the blood groups are different hey to me thank you so much for joining oh, i love the medical technologies here so i'm basically talking about an emergency situation where now the patient has lost blood and they need a blood transfusion we need to know what blood type you are so we do that in the lab racheka so i would say and i would advise people to go and do the test now we the horo what blood type are you we keep it somewhere ka mo wala thing we keep it somewhere mo wena or le mo funu nya ga go ke go na le these health apps now the le body medical aid you can actually keep your data on there so in case of an emergency you have it ready haro gra re senyana ko gape re batlana le blood group ya gago e long gore ka that time we were able to have given you blood on the spot ba cheka ba gra le gore go na le special ho na re thobang ba na le special blood types 
ba leng gore pele motho hateng sentse a pare bracelet e nyana yana ya go bontsha gore i'm a special type of person meaning motho ona ga tshwane o grama dia manla mang fele so for example we also do hey alex thank you so much for joining in alex is like master of medical technology um so what happens then is if we know what blood type you are it's so much easier for you to get um your blood kind of go ill. so if you get the chance like after the lockdown it's really in, 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 go in okay fit our work up blood grouping test uh, thanks so much for the love what blood type you are so that is not the only thing we do but that is actually an amazing thing that there's for guys for example um once you turn 40 I think that was an amazing thing. So as soon as you hit 40 guys, go in and get a PSA test. So that is a prostate specific antigen test. Key cancer marker for prostate cancer. So rather be able to know, be safe with you from the beginning, what is wrong with you. And the nice thing also is right now when you're healthy, kinda everybody is now exercising, they're going to the gym. It's great to know your numbers your numbers give you power if you know what your numbers are what your cholesterol is what your blood sugar is it gives you so much power and we can do those tests for you otherwise there's point of care also point of care the people in the lab also sometimes they don't really like point of care so much but in the lab we also use some point of care um analyzers or kits so point of care pharmacy or online and then when a self we check the most famous one ki a pregnancy test um your know, lockdown i hope we're not gonna have covid babies after more because they run the beta acg beta acg ki hormone eri ranan ko lab hore ka pregnancy test ela ya ko ya ko pharmacy and say we we deeper in you come more doing it high into the line it's a two that's when we know her is pregnant you are pregnant and then hey in a line a one it means you are negative here's not a line at all it means that kit is invalid maybe expiry low or higher sweater simply so it shouldn't just be blank essentially evenly one line yeah one tower the control is positive but way now oh i'm not acg acg as soon as over pregnant okay kill beta acg we will be able to test it you can do it yourself with like a layer kit ele yako pharmacy and then once you know her okay carry pregnant then you can go to your doctor like a yako lab it's most likely going to be able to be a bit more accurate and then you can offer the value itself so you can know how far along you are and the other important thing, so once you get your beta ACG and you know you're pregnant, it's very important for you then to check other tests. So, when I did test about the tongue, risk screener for the down down syndromes, hurry, you can use your anang or no muttering. Unale potentially have valid birth defects or whatnot. Well, we also check level the sexually transmitted diseases. Can I go? It's very important for things like syphilis. So, to see, because you don't want to give birth to a stillbirth child. We'd rather know now when you're pregnant. Go in. Thank you so much, Michael, for joining in. Um, is it true that prostate cancer is caused by lack of sex? Okay, so there is myths out there and there is misconceptions about um, the things that we have now. So no lack of sex will not cause prostate cancer. Prostate cancer ke 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 kankere ya ya prostate e mo bonneng. So mo bonneng go na le gland e nngwe ba itsa prostate. So cancer what happens ka cancer that is false. Thank you so much to me. That is definitely false. Please do help me in when there's questions coming in um to answer them. Thank you so much to me for answering that. So prostate go na le gland ba ke prostate cancer. Are bolela ka cancer a little bit. So what we have with cancer is unalidi cells. Mulakako is made up of what we call cells. So your cells, uh, thank you so much. Your cells and they make up your tissue. So hey, give one old my skin on its own is tissue. The heart on its own is a big organ made up of tissue. So come on, hurry, here I give cells. So I will a nice little example of what a cell is. Um, if you look at, I'm gonna try and make it very very basic. 
core what is that smallest building block ah so as a as a whole so if you have a house that's a whole organ so your your house is an organ and all the the the, the other things the building blocks tayona ma the bricks itel itself so those bricks are cells so if we're talking about normal bricks and normal cells it means your house is in shape everything is in order now he go na le di brick steading go gara yana ngise seng sa crack ha se seng ga sa dula sentle in the cell you have normal cells and we call them mutations so they start to mutate or they start to change from a normal form to an abnormal form Fiona Michael Michael this is what I'm trying to explain to you when you have normal cells turning into abnormal cells that is cancer so your normal cells turn into abnormal cells that is cancer so you have your normal cells where everything is nice and smooth and now when you have your cancerous cells it means they're growing up normally so arweka leukemia for example leukemia is a blood cancer so you have your normal blood cells that it are mayang around in your body and they're normal but as soon as you have a leukemia khona le tse ding tse di sa tshwanang go ba teng tse di thomang go gola hey fanta nana thank you so much for joining khona tse ding ga di tshwana go gola ke tse o di di gola uncontrollably so di tswa mo tseleng so instead of having a normal process happening on there you now find that you are now excreting extra things in there you are now having cells tse 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 di distepang tse di ne di sa tshwana go ba mo teng instead of having a nice round picture you now having things that are growing out of control i think that's the simplest way i can try to to explain it on the so it's basically a, a change or a mutation in something that was normal it can even go back to a genetic level kana genetic mo ya no i don't want to go too deep but you have your dna that is now normal and it's it's replicating and then it produces the proteins your proteins then make up your cells and your tissues and everything and then your organ and your entire body so if now dna ela essencing a c matches with a g and an a matches with a t and there's a specific sequence so every human being has their own dna sequence since a a a map ana yana sentle sentle now suddenly ukra emuji ya chencha e map instead of mapping here it maps there So that's a mutation at the end of the day you find that protein that was supposed to give you your eyes debate said why they era or now they become yellow so there's a different um change there that happens so let's talk about other changes like the liver so kana ra go tshela bojwala mo south africa ke so the more alcohol you drink your liver it's called liver for a reason so your liver gives you life so it's a liver you live out of that you find the proteins that's where some of your proteins are made from but your liver is like a sieve for life it detoxifies and cleans kana se bete sa gago se utla botlhoko ka alcohol ya south africa the more and more you drink the more your liver has to work your liver has to work extra extra hard to take out all those toxins that you have put into your body to take them out and your kidneys dipsy what i have to take them out as urine you guys know the more alcohol you drink the more we are go 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 to let all on some more that girl so for five and on some more the more on some more the more it's now from your liver is working extra hard to pump out all those toxins out of your body and excrete them out it in te esmoroto so in in the lab what we do then is we can check liver ya hago it works so hard it works so hard to replace itself tell them it's going to build them especially straight <laughs> okay so uh with with alcohol we can test for it so what happens is your liver starts to physically show signs so that your doctor can only see obviously bakas no sheba ya na bakas ba bon We can also take blood by yeah go lab test or read a liver function test liver function test ke panel ka mo gare go na le test test tse dintsi ke total protein we albumin we'll have another live where we can go in read discuss and break them down a little bit look no itso pila pila here re liver function test re ra eng ka mo gare here re cardiac profile re ra eng kana ke maina le ngora mangano ba fancy fela they not really that fancy it's it's just why it's over professional ngwe lengwe ina le jargon ya yona lawyers have their own jargon because they don't want us to understand accountants have their own jargon le rona in the medical field we have our own jargon kana fela ga ri bua ka urine 
a normal person would urine uh, stool. Stool, for example, is feces. Arona, we go and we call it stool. So those are some of the things that just make it a little bit difficult for uh, the normal person to understand. So we can put them in layman's terms. Um, if you get a hematology, hematology is the study of blood. So it's just a fancy term for the study of blood, but we use those terminologies every day. So when I say him or hematology, that is the study of blood. Um, so we have all those things, microbiology, but the like the bacteria, the fungi, and all of those things. So regional department, same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. Here is that university. We all study the same thing. We study study chemical pathology, we study hematology, microbiology, blood transfusion, cytology, histology. So we study all these things. Thank you so much, Jenny. We study all these things. And at the end of the two and a half years, which is obviously going to be different now with the degrees coming in. So I'm, I'm even afraid to use years and times. Thank you so much for joining, Janine. Um, thank you so much. So I'm scared to use times because they change. So we, Rona, we used to study for, for two and a half years, and then we did six months in the lab where you actually get practical exposure. So after that, you go in and do 18 months, yeah, board exam. At this point, uh, hey, microbiologist in the house, thanks to me. I'm sure we, you're going to help us answer a lot of questions about microbiology. Um, it's an amazing field. Kana microbiology in Ngutsawutukoyanko University, we used to fail it so much. Uh, I hope people don't get to like, you know, judge us. Microbiology was really one one subject that kind of honestly would love to go to and Koki and E. coli. Your the bacteria that think I may not snacks. So we have to learn all those things. The main at all. And Basili get the shape. So the the dinner air Basili is so. So I get the shape in your nose. The bacteria. I told you when I heard TV, no, I grab and see the bacteria. I'm allowed body body detail about want how to clean them. So that's what a a bacteria would look like. For example, when I know when I start sa COVID nineteen, get this round spiky virus that is on there. So you can actually you have to study all those things. <laughs> You have to study all those things. You have to know what they are. You actually have to know the structure and say, COVID-19, this is the nucleus, this is the spikes, these are the... So that is definitely something that we do study. We study the names, we study this um, guy, we draw them, radicounter, we do all these things. And for you guys, to me, in that... They, so they do the streaking thing in micro that you have to learn and be a master of. And to me, I really hope next time we'll do a little a live and show us you guys streaking the plates. And so, but welcome micro. What bacteria is growing in there? But grow the bacteria. Hey, but grow the bacteria. Got these little jelly type of plates. We call them egg plates. And there's different ones. Engwe, engwe, engwe. It grow a specific type of bacteria on there. So they're able to tell your doctor what is growing on there. They're able to tell you how much of it is growing. And they're also able to do antibi antibiotic testing. Kind of never work at the antibiotics earlier on. So they're also able to talk about antibiotics to say, Hore, which antibiotic is this specific bacteria uh, susceptible to so doctor you can go ahead and use this bacteria uh, type of um, antibiotic it will blend that uh, bacteria so let's talk a little bit about bacteria and antibiotics when you are actually sick and you just have a normal flu there is no need for you to take antibiotics unless really required. Um, this, there's so many of strains that are now becoming um, resistant to antibiotics. We have a problem here, especially in South Africa, with um, hepatitis and diabetes and TB. Thank you so much for joining. And TB, um, we have a problem now with TB that is becoming resistant. You know, you guys in micro have a, a better idea, but you know what? It's a really a real struggle for us. Um, kind of what they do with antibiotics is they give you a, a nice level yeah, antibiotic and then you need to complete the course. But I'll go be a huge sticker. Thanks, Tabelo. They will put a huge sticker on there for you to complete the course. It's so important for you to complete the course. Like, I don't even want to 
you have to complete the course sometimes what we do is on the antibiotic seller and as soon as you start feeling better you immediately leave and stop taking those antibiotics you need to complete the course because now that bacteria is now getting stronger i don't know if you guys have seen these adverts with these ugly things going out like that those things are real so those bacteria thank you so much for joining jacob um those things are real you really need to make sure oh diamond thank you so so much i hope we're gonna have more lessons in histology so diamond is like a master and uh, we lectured together go to ut he was doing histology ah and there we go to me thank you so so much so those are the types of um tbs on there so you have your cres and your mdrs and your xdrs kind of yeah, the levels these things kind of work at dna mutations these tbs actually uh the bacteria they mutate and they get stronger and they find ways to be able to gain resistance against these antibiotics so and and that's the power that they have they adapt and much like hiv the other reason we had such a struggle with hiv in the industry is because it adapted and it changed its structure yeah it like hiv and he changed it to such a point that we are unable to identify its structure. The important thing that the virologists, the virologists is they, they study these viruses like with COVID-19. They actually actively at this point studying it. They need to know what it looks like. They need to get the DNA um, out there. They need to see what part of it to target. So I in, like in where I am now, so I'm currently a little bit out of the lab and I'm in the diagnostic industry. When we try to find the um, reagents and calibrators and control cities for SARS COVID-19, what they're looking for is they need to study the structure of yeah, the COVID-19 virus, target specific parts of the virus, whether it's the nucleus or the spikes, those need to be targeted. And then by the what are they matching? Kind of when we're talking about immuno, we're talking lock and key mechanisms. So you can have an antibody against a specific antigen and it has to be a specific lock and key. So what they need to do is find the key to the lock here, COVID-19. So we can we can be able to test it and know how to how to measure it. So your body has to produce um like an immune response in terms those immunoglobulins igm is for the active phase it loads on daily and then later on it loads on igg so igm shows your active state so if the hotel igm immunoglobulin it means at that time where they get hepatitis where they get whatever virus it is that whatever it is they testing for gonna go ill it means your body at that time is fighting actively to take up that virus or that fungi or that bacteria out of your are you also getting some language lessons yes janine <laughs> you have to so <laughs> i'm so glad so we're mixing english and twana let's pedic acid better yours pedic is a so i'm actually twana uh but i'm so good with pedi you wouldn't even know so thank you so so much so let's just talk a little bit about the immunoglobulins and i just want to wrap this up quickly to talk about COVID 19 and what is happening at this point and what we are trying to do yes we are not health workers it's a beautiful thing medical technology we are essential workers we are out and about we are working you know the thing with me is i went in last night at 11 o'clock i knocked off at 5 a.m by one o'clock, I was already back in the lab, and now I only came back home now to do the lives. So really, we do work 24-7, 365 to be out there and help the nation. We sacrifice our own lives. We don't have holidays. We work public holidays. We It doesn't matter what day, 24-7, when everybody's out having fun. Uh, you know, I had New Year's at a lab many times, working night shift. No fireworks, nothing. Everybody's home. You are here working in the lab. And but you know what? We do it for you guys. Um, we don't get paid much. So that's another live on its own. We really don't get paid as much as we should. But we actually are always working and make sure that you guys are safe. So back to COVID-19. We are you are have a how are they really doing this at some point? <laughs> um, so 
so COVID-19, we're now trying to find uh, those specific immunoglobulin markers that we are able to get um, antibodies and antigens for those specific uh, COVID-19s. Some kids are being released out. Thank you for joining. Some kids are being released on an emergency basis. So FDA approval is taking much longer. We're only able to get emergency kits out and there's no time to do complete testing so the testing that is done is done to such a point that they can say this kit is working they send the stuff to fda for approval and the kit goes out even before the full approval so you get an um, eua approval yeah emergency use um only so the kits that we're gonna get now it's our emergency use fda will then later check to see whether these kits are actually right to be used or not so what they can do is they've also pulled out some already. So if a, if, if a test like a point of care or immuno, whatever it is that they have, is not meeting the FDA requirements, they can pull it off the market. And those that are actually working, they can go on. So the early ones that were released were actually not completely 100%. It's understandable. We have to do what we have to do. So we have to push out and, you know, fast pace the research. So with the kids that are coming in, uh, we're going to be training the labs on the reagents, the calibrators, and the controls to use and what to look for. They are all um, quantitative. No, they are all qualitative. So by that qualitative means we can only tell you whether unaliona or haunayona. So uh, is it negative or positive? That's only what we can do now. We cannot say how much or how positive. So like I did a third example, yeah, beta ACG, yeah, pregnancy test. Um, the kid, yeah, are you pregnant or not pregnant? So we can only tell you, Hore, you've been exposed to COVID-19 or you have not been exposed to COVID-19. We cannot say how much resistance or immunity your body has gained. So at this point, there is no quantitative test available at the moment. Yes, the test may come semi-quantitative, meaning it will find number. And then that number, you can say anything below one is negative anything above one is positive that's all we have for now with COVID-19 it's only your qualitative tests that are going to be coming through into the country the labs also are going to have a very different EP evaluation for them a full-on validation a really extensive rates the patient test the controls the calibrations it's going to be a very narrow shorter validation process so that we are able to test more people. The priorities, there's an algorithm that is out. So algorithm is like this. So algorithm is how we decide who gets tested and who who has priority. So but why long these symptoms stay long you guys have seen on the World Health Organization's the NICD website. People who have priority now for testing, give long active signs and symptoms that COVID-19, they are having difficulty breathing. So that's about one time, motivating, the website thing. So if you want actual information about those, you have to go onto the specific websites and avoid false news and false information. So people who have active um, infections, all those things, high temperatures and all of that, the fever, but they test work at PCR. So PCR molecular, so that's the test that's actually available in the labs right now. So that's what you can use to test them. And then the next line would be but they really don't are not that symptomatic, matter they are referred to by a doctor. Those who also get tested. The people who take priority talk about the healthcare professionals, um, because they are quite exposed and those patients with actual symptoms. When are the symptoms? but you want to get tested so when the immuno one is available you'll be able to get the immuno one you are not going to go in a pcr immuno which i actually think for because i'd rather just stay home stay safe put my mask on um are the tests to be done on serum or whole blood okay so it's a immuno immuno will be on serum so a lot of our immuno stuff is on serum. So immuno is usually serum. Um, there won't be any for plasma at this point, not even whole blood. Whole blood, you're about the point of K one. So point of K is usually whole blood that you can do and fingerprint prick yourself at home. So get the point of K at home, usually a finger prick 
that you can do at home those are also available in the country if you want those ones um and then the ones for immuno the ones in the lab which are assumed to be more reliable those are the ones that use serum so we we're gonna have another live to discuss the difference between serum and whole blood and different tubes and all of that so what we can do now i do lives five o'clock on instagram and i'm gonna i do them daily so i can also do them on facebook six o'clock every every day on on facebook and five o'clock on instagram um so definitely you can do that if you missed the one on instagram it is on my youtube channel so you can subscribe to that at liam Lai. um but you know what thank you so so much this was fun this was amazing i know it was impromptu it was not even planned that we're gonna do it like this and six o'clock every day facebook let's catch up here and talk about medical technology and you know there's options for you guys to join so we will talk and then we can both have a discussion and out there and discuss and tell the people who we are what we do i think what made me do this i must say is that people need to know what we do who we are how they can get in um it's not only technologists that go to school you can be a technician for example if like and then if it's a metric now it's a math science and life sciences and you cannot afford to go to university there is options and you can just reach out um let me just give you so you can dm me on at liam Lai, or you can send me a, a messenger message on facebook and if you are interested in getting into any one of these labs it's not always easy especially now with the lockdown but we can definitely try and help someone who's looking to get in and they have good marks and you can get in into the lab as a medical technician the nice thing about the technicians is we go to the lab we study for which was three years uh two and a half years uh, i will say three years and then another 18 so three years like this and another 18 months there if we pass a board exam for the very first time so five years it, that you have to study to become a medical technologist and qualify and so it's a really long journey so if at that time after five years ostatila from metric we're now gonna straight into the lab as a technician by that time you can actually train a medical technologist the things that you have to do in the lab because you would have already been there much much longer medical technicians and medical technologists and bsc students that also come in and they are called medical scientists so in level in order of priority medical technologists are a higher priority and then your scientists and technicians so you know what it depends what you're looking for but if you're looking for an instant in to the lab you can go in as a medical technician if you want to go to the lab and study further you can go to any of the uot's and study biomedical technology you can go search the course there at any uot's tut vut um thank you so so much for joining in we'll do this again tomorrow 6 p.m live on facebook thank you so much guys thank you for the participation thank you so i love you guys bye <laughs> janito you're just joining in now and we've just finished i was just telling them that we're gonna do this every day at 6 p.m live on facebook i'm live on instagram every day at 5 p.m and live now from facebook at 6 p.m so join us tomorrow 6 p.m we're talking about medical technology and everything else in between much love thank you so much guys <laughs>